Hello YouTube. I recently found a good alternative to the Parker rollerball refill and I wanted to share it. This is a Parker vector rollerball pen. The rollerball refill in this costs 150 rupees. This is the Parker Ultrafine Navigator refill that I am currently using. Another refill available from Parker is Navigator refill. Navigator costs 100 rupees and this Ultrafine Navigator costs 150 rupees. Ultrafine has a fine tip while the normal Navigator writes a little thicker. This is the Reynolds Razor Gel Pen and this is famous among school children. I found that with a 2 minute modification to this pen's refill, it can be adjusted to fit in place of a Parker Rollerball refill. This refill also has a needle point just like the Parker Ultrafine Navigator. This is the Reynolds Razor Gel Refill and it costs 6 rupees. That is, I can get 25 refills for the price of one Parker refill. Added advantage is that this is a waterproof refill. There are three modifications needed to use the Reynolds refill in Parker. First is that we have to shorten the length of the Reynolds refill. There is some kind of barrier in the Reynolds refill where the ink ends and that remains unaffected. I'll show the lengths that need to be cut later in the video. Second is that the Reynolds refill doesn't go into the section of the pen because there is a rim on the refill. To overcome this, take a blade and shave off the rim. This is another Reynolds refill on which I have already cut off the rim and shortened the length too. As can be seen the refill can now go into the section easily. But the refill tip protrudes a lot more than needed. To overcome this we need the third mold. Which is to take a small part of the extra length that was cut from the back and use it as a sleeve on the front of the refill. This prevents the refill from protruding too much out of the section. I have cut off around 1 cm length at the back of the refill and from that I am using around 8 mm as a sleeve here. That's it, the refill is ready for use. Since we used a sleeve there is no movement of the tip and it is comfortable to use. Now when we take out the refill the sleeve remains stuck in the section. If you want to use the original Parker refill, you have to take out the sleeve from the section. You will have to push the sleeve from the front of the section. I am using an Allen key here to do that. If you plan to continue using Reynolds refills, you can leave the piece in the section and this third mod will not be necessary next time. So the three mods needed are cut the length, cut the rim and use a sleeve. All you need is a blade and 2 minutes of time, that's it. This is the length of the original Parker refill. It is around 116 mm. Original Reynolds refill is around 127 mm. The length I have cut is around 117 mm but I think 116 will be perfect. Out of the 10 mm I have cut off at the back, I am using around 7 mm as a sleeve. I think 116 mm for refill and 8 mm for sleeve will be perfect but I suggest that you first try with 117 mm and make it 116 mm later if you don't like the length of the tip that is coming out from the section. 117 mm of length is the maximum limit. If the length is any longer, cap doesn't snap like it should. My handwriting is very bad, excuse me for that. 
Parker Ultra Fine Navigator is a fine refill. The lines are thin and ink dries quickly. You can feel the resistance on paper and some people like this resistance. Reynolds has a tip of 0.5 mm but it writes slightly thicker than Parker. The resistance is much less and it is very smooth to write. Parker is a rollerball refill and the Reynolds is a gel refill. The Reynolds refill writes wet, takes a second to dry. And there is smudging sometimes but I am not really concerned about that. I love the way Reynolds glides on the paper. It is much smoother than Parker. Reynolds refill has waterproof ink and Parker doesn't. So that's a big advantage over Parker while smudging is only a small disadvantage. That's all in this video and I hope you like it. Hit like and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and have a good day. See you soon.